Okay, just a relatively short video here today. I want to talk about 0.5 millimeter nozzle width on 3D printers, specifically the uh, Shindo printers. So these uh, hexagonal prints here are in uh, PLA, PETG, and ABS. And the ones in the front were done printing, printed using the Shindo desktop slicer, the standard slicer. And the ones in the back I did in Simplify 3D. And these were all done at 0.5 millimeter nozzle width setting. Now the Shindo printers that I have, the DP200, the 3D Wax 1, and the 2X, they all have a physical nozzle width of 0.4. The hot end is 0.4. And I printed these jobs with settings using 0.5. Uh, so why would you want to do something like that? Well, for me, there's two reasons. One, look at the walls on these prints. These are two millimeter walls, and you know, that divides out pretty nicely by 0.5. So um, sometimes you wanna just design something using multiples of 0.5 instead of all this 0.4 garbage. Um, the other reason for me is I seem to get really pretty nice prints when I print 0.5 using a 0.4 nozzle. And my cousin actually builds his own 3D printers and he's always doing that. He's printing it one millimeter on a 0.4 and 0.8. So um, I just like the way it looks. Now you can see what I mean with this model. I think I have the walls set to four, but um, I guess two would work. The point is this, this wall width here is two millimeters. So because I'm using a 0.5 millimeter nozzle width, there are two here, which makes up the outside one millimeter, and then two walls here, another millimeter. So these are two millimeters, but they're nice, even multiples of 0.5. And that's what I was trying to achieve. This is in Simplify 3D. But see, in Simplify 3D, you can set that here. You can say my nozzle diameter physically is 0.4 millimeters for my extruder, but I want to extrude a 0.5 millimeter bead. Um, so you can do that in Simplify 3D. There's no direct way to set that parameter in the Shindo 3D Wax desktop software. Now over here in the 3D Wax desktop software, I've modified the parameters in the profile manually. So see, now I'm getting these nice um, walls here, four nice walls, just like in Simplify 3D, because I modified the nozzle width manually in the config files to be 0.5. And that's what I'm trying to achieve here. Okay, so here are the profile files that I edited and created, and I put them up on GitHub. So you can just go to github.com slash bobotmedia forward slash 3 dwalks one um, This is a URL, so I think case sensitive, you have to do uppercase here, but just put that in. It'll take you to here. Here's where the files are. Now the ones we're interested for for this video are this top file here, which is the 3 dwalks one 0.5 nozzle setting. It's the FFF. That's for Simplify 3D, and that includes both the all, all three of the PLA, ABS, and PETG uh, filament settings for Simplify 3D. The other three down here, the 0 0.5 ABS, 0 0.5 PETG, 0 0.5 PLA, they're for the Shindo desktop software, and we'll have to import them individually. I'll show you how to do that later in this video. Just scroll down, and here's a description of everything. So again, this is a Simplify 3D profile for all three filament types for 0.5. And these are the three filament types, ABS, PETG, and PLA for the 0.5 nozzle for the Shindo desktop software. So download those. You can go up here and just download the entire zip. That'll bring all these files down to your drive. It's small. Um, and then you can put them, extract them, and make them available so that we can import them in uh, the next part of the video into Shindo. So to get this set up and load one of these custom profiles you downloaded, um, what you first need to do is make sure that you're in advanced mode. Put this in advanced mode from this menu, okay? And also choose, if you have multiple printers, choose 
whichever you choose the one that's your 3d walks one I have multiple printers so you have to make sure you're on that profile now go over to profile custom profile I've already got mine loaded it doesn't really matter for what we're doing here I'll just make a new one because it takes on the name you give it anyway so I'm gonna say new profile and just call it my new profile okay and then go down here to profile and you want to bring in an exported profile one that we've previously exported one that you downloaded from my site okay so then when you choose that you just choose either the ABS pet G or PLA let's do the, the PLA okay we'll say open so now it's going to be my new profile it's there you say okay now it automatically loads see my new profile up here and it comes in with the parameters that I set up for it. And the reason I know that's because I increased the flow compensation from the default to 103%. So I know that, you know, we're on the right stuff here. Now there's no way for you to see that this is 0.5 nozzle width, but it's in the background of this profile. So you just say, okay, and there it is. Okay. Now this is available to you in your settings, your advanced settings. See, you can come down here now and any any job you want to run you just choose my new profile and it fills this stuff in see I have mine set up for a PLA and a pet G and an ABS profile all based on these 0 0.5 nozzles so you may want to make this name something descriptive for you you know like PLA 0 0.5 nozzle I didn't want to get two of the same profiles in here but let's say now that you have this you know this is a good place for you to start with your settings and you look through here and you're like uh I don't want this I want this 102 you know well just make this 102 it's yellow you can say edit and now um, when you make this when you change this to 102 you can now say save profile and if you save profile I'm not gonna do it it will um, save it to this name up here so you always have this new this this profile you can play with, around with now just use mine as a base but that's it you know you load your um, you load your little STL file out here and slice it and there you go now like I said if this you would you know you can see that there's four walls here this is two millimeters across here you would see five or some type of infill if this was set to a 0 0.4 nozzle so that's how I know it works. Well, I hope this has been informative and thanks for watching.